Also, periodically tune up your e-brake. Pardon my ammo. Also, periodically tune up your e-brake. On the older vehicles, usually they're a cable, even on some newer vehicles. That's why I always recommend a hand brake and not a damn pedal brake like like e-brake over there. I always recommend this brake right here, especially for automatics. All right? Automa well, for any manual or automatic, but mine's a little bit loose, so I need to tighten this cable up back in there, so make sure you tighten that up. One other thing I'm going to show you. Whenever you do this, this manual override on a brake caliper, all right, take it down an old uh, country road or take it down in some neighborhood somewhere, go slow, test it out, turn full lock left, full lock right, okay? Make sure that your brake caliper is not getting snagged up on the vice grips. So we're gonna go check it right now. All right, so, so far so good. I'm not seeing any leakage down here on the line. All right, so no wetness, that's good. You see wetness? You need to get somewhere fast because you're going to start getting air bubbles in this line and that's going to go to your other brakes. Air bubbles compress. Hydraulic brake fluid does not. or not near as much as air bubbles do. Now all this grease that you see right here, this is where I was slathering it down with WD-40 and stuff like that trying to loop these pins up to get them to break loose. But uh, like I said, this has happened a couple times now on this exact brake caliper. Actually this happened about a year or two ago with this exact same brake caliper now it's happening again. Um, so I uh, think it's just time to replace this. We've already done the quick fix once, and now we're on the quick fix two, uh, which we'll is clamp that sucker off and manually override it. So uh, but keep an eye on this. Go down an old dirt trail or like an old uh, like driveway, or not driveway, but go down to like an old neighborhood and make sure you're not leaking any fluid. Turn your wheel full lock left, full lock right. Go through some ditches. Make sure that this is not going to get caught up on anything and rip itself off, okay? That's really, really important. So, um, that way nothing snags us because right now, like I said, this is basically, like, ma imagine having a hemorrhage or you, you want to stop blood flow and you rip the tourniquet off. It's probably not going to be very good. So, leave this on here. This will manually override this brake and send all the brake pressure from here to the other three brakes. Uh, now, as you saw in the previous video, it is going to pull hard to the side that has the most brakes. Particularly if you disconnect the front brake, the other two brakes on the other side, particularly that front brake on the other side, is going to pull really hard. We were doing like, what, 15 mile an hour? And you saw how hard it jerked the wheel because there's no brake on this side now because we bypassed it. We manually overridden it. It's like a tourniquet. But this will get us down to the parts store, get us down to our therapy appointment for the shoulder. You can pick up the kids, your soccer practice, whatever. Just drive like a grandma, take the back roads, and check this thing every time you get out. Every time you park this car and you get gas or something like that, get out, check, make sure that this line is not wet, okay? Like I said, this is wetness from the WD-40 uh, that I was trying to spray in here to lube this up, but it's not really working that great. So check this line, make sure that nothing is wet. If you get wetness, you need to go ahead and pull over. And also, you need to keep that e-brake tight because that might, you never know, this could cut through. You can create a nick in here that can start getting air bubbles in there, air goes up, that's it, you've lost all your brakes. Your e-brake, as you can see here, is a manual cable. That's your e-brake. So up top, that's your hydraulic brake. See that metal line up top? Kinks off at a 45 degree angle, then goes into the brake. Down below, that's your manual e-brake cable, all right? So, Keep that e-brake tightened up, because if anything happens, that might be your only brake. 